Here's another example of statistical process control using data from the Automotive Industry Action Group, uh, the original SPC release. It was also in the Duran Quality Control Handbook. So this is our bend clip gap. So we can simply select this with our mouse, click on the QI Macros Control Chart Wizard. It'll say that must be an X bar R chart. It'll prompt us for titles. Normally I just put those in there, but because um, I always find that I lose them if I don't hang on to them. But here you can see we have an out of control point here, and we have eight points in a row below the center line here. This indicates a process shift. So if we were to analyze that and go, yes, our process did shift, we could actually come in here and click on that point, click on the QI Macros chart menu and say, show process change and that would show our process change and then we could come back in here and redo stability on our points and make sure that everything is as it was supposed to be here. So there you can see we've got this. Um, now obviously our process shifted so we probably shouldn't be doing a capability analysis on all this data but I'll do it anyway. Uh, so you have our spec, upper spec of 0.9 and lower spec of 0.5 you can see all of the points here, like 0.65 and 0.7. So there's um, really a, a frequency histogram will actually show this quite well because we're going to group them in those categories. The upper spec is 0.9 and the lower spec is 0.5. And there's our bend clip gap. And here you can see, even though our process seemed to be in control, our capability was 0.85. And that's probably because we had a process shift in there. You can see PP and PPK are a little bit off from there, not much, uh, so that probably means we had some sort of shift. Now we could again take this data and put it into one of the QI macros uh, fill in the blank templates. So if we open up the XBAR R5 pack, we could go back over to our data here, simply take that and copy it, and then shift back over. And I use uh, Alt Tab to shift between sheets here and I could paste that in and that would give us our control chart and I'm gonna get rid of our blanks here so I have the whole chart to see and we can come over here and put in our upper spec of 0.9 and our lower spec of 0.5 that'll give us our chart here you can see we have uh, a normal process distribution. Again, we could take this and it looks like, you know, again, we had that process shift out here, so that might be, uh, what, maybe 20 points out or something. Uh, might be only 18. Too far. 19. So there's always a little place where we can show process shifts on here. If you need to change the start point here, we could change that to be, uh, say, 0.4 or something like that. That'll spread that out a little bit, make it look a little better. And there's our uh, statistical analysis of what's going on with this particular process. And it's very easy to do these kinds of analyses to determine if your process is stable and capable using the QI macros.